Hello, welcome to another Sonic Lab. We've got the modular out today, uh, and we're looking at a new module from French module maker, and I hope I pronounced this right, Tuel Scouan. This is the Jadonian module that we're looking at. It's a red kind of acrylic face with uh, nice engraving on it. And what it's for is basically from converting Korg speak to Eurorack speak. Now, for those of you who perhaps don't know, uh, the Korg MS20, uh, MS20 Mini, and also the MS20 kit, which is what I've got here, only speaks Hertz volts, which is a, a control voltage sort of format that is peculiar essentially to the Korg. The Eurorack speaks volt per octave. So when you join them up, they just don't communicate properly. So if you wanted to incorporate an oscillator from Eurorack into your Korg, mod Korg MS20, whatever format, it just wouldn't happen. Vice versa, it just doesn't work the right way around. The thing about the Jadonian, what it does is it converts in both directions. So you can send CV hertz volts from the MS20 to Eurorack and it will scale nicely and you can do the other way uh, which is volt per octave to hertz volts and it will scale nicely. Now there's also some other issues which uh, I will demonstrate. Now why would I need this I ask? Well so let me show you. What I have here is the MS20 kit which I built uh, a couple of months ago um, and is essentially a rebuild of an original MS20. I've got the CV out from the keyboard coming out into the control voltage in of my Intelligel Atlantis, which is another module I reviewed quite recently. Great sounding kind of all in one synth, but that's another story. Check out the review if you want to see. Then I've got the trigger out from the keyboard coming into the gate input. So now if I press a key on here and lift it up, you can see that the the trigger is the wrong way around, so the note is triggered on a note up rather than a note down. So that's one thing. That's called S trig in Korg speak, but actually you just want regular trig. Uh, so the next thing is if I play an octave, that ain't right. The scaling is completely off, and that's because we're talking two completely different languages essentially. If I go back to the unit here, we've got. Uh, the top section takes Eurorack speak and outputs Korg speak effectively. So you've got a volt per octave input and you come out in Hertz volts, same with the trigger. And then the bottom one, you bring the control voltage out of the Korg and then output the volt per octave to the Eurorack, same with the trigger. So you take the S trigger in and you have the right polarity trigger out. These knobs here are for calibrating the system because basically when you set it up, you need to be able to uh, make sure that you've got it all tuned and sorted. And that, the, that's what these are for. And that, that's going to be slightly different for each synth. You do find the same thing can happen with uh, MIDI to CV converters where you just need to sort of affect the little trim just to get everything scaling nicely. So these are all on the front panel. So let's hook it up and see how it performs. The first thing we're going to do is take the gate output of the MS20 and bring that into the S trig input, which is the bottom channel of the Jadonian. Then we're going to bring the CV output. I've brought that over here to a splitter because I haven't got a, the right kind of lead. And that's going into the Hertz volts input. So we've got our MS20 plugged up. Now I'm going to take the gate output and plug that into the gate input of the IntelliJ Atlantis, which is this module down here. Now I'm going to take the volt per octave so output and plug that into the CV input of the Atlantis. So now I'm just going to bring the MS20 up. So we're listening to... Oh, right. So as we can hear, they're not in tune. So what we have to do to start with is calibrate. So I'm just going to start with this. Get that as tight as I possibly can. So that's on a C. So now I need to basically play a C above it get that as tight as I possibly can. Now go back to my previous C. Up to the next one. 
So now, looks like I've got them sorted. So now it scales. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the MS20 Mini is now talking via the Jedonian to Eurorack. So now I can take that down a bit. So now I've got two oscillators, two different filters, and so that works that way. So as you can hear, it's not actually, it's you know, a little bit finicky to begin with, but the trick is, they say you start with the knobs at roughly 11 o'clock, and then you work from there. As it happens, that's where these turned out. So it's just a question of you play your bottom C first, tune it up, then the top C, tune it up, bottom C, and you keep going to and fro, and you get there and once you're set it's actually pretty much set and forget obviously if you have a particularly hot day or you've kept this in cold storage or you've moved it it's had a bit of a bump you might need to tinker with it and tweak it but basically once you've set it up that's kind of it now you can use your ms20 ms20 mini or ms20 kit to play your euro rack so how does it work the other way around let's see how that goes so the first thing i'm going to do is swap the cv out to cv in and the gate out to gate in on the ms20 kit i've got here now if i come up to uh the jedonian i'm going to swap so this is the gate output i'm going to uh, so now it becomes the gate input so i'm swapping to the top channel so the gate output on the hertz volts channel and this is the cv output on the Hertz volts channels going here, which is going to a split down here, which is then going back to the MS20. So now, got a MIDI keyboard here, which is just hooked up via this Dopefer A193, which is a USB MIDI CV gate, uh, very simple. And that's normaled internally in the rack to this single voice. So this is a mini synthesizer voice, so. So this is just what I'm going to use. So now what I've got to do is plug the CV output, sorry, that's the gate output, into the gate input. And take the CV output into the CV input. And I've got my MIDI keyboard is playing the dope for voice over MIDI, and it's also triggering channel so now I'm going to turn up the MS20 mini the MS20 so now what I have to do is tune so I'm st again starting with a C the C above it's a bit more fiddly this C below Got there in the end, but I must say, going the other direction is a lot more fiddly. Uh, very tight, there's a much more sort of tight uh, sweet spot in it. It's a hard, definitely harder to set up. I spoke to the manufacturer and they said, yeah, it's just the nature of the way it goes. Something to do with the sweet spot and the exponential curve being much narrower going from volt per octave to hertz volts. So it works. Works in both directions. Obviously a little more tricky to set up if you're coming from Eurorack to MS20, but essentially, there you have it. Looks quite stylish too. The price is 140 euros. You should be able to buy it from most reputable uh, modular dealers in the EU and the UK. That includes uh, VAT if you're over here. You probably pay a little bit more of a premium if you're buying in the States. But if you are, there is an alternative, which is the Harvestman English tier, which does pretty much the same thing. Probably find it a little bit cheaper in the States just for import duty. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe if you like what we do. There'll be a button appearing on the screen somewhere and we'll remain with you to the end of the show. Uh, I'm going to play you out with a little bit of a modular patch now. Thanks for watching.